you're looking over my shoulder today because this is probably not probably definitely the most requested video in project 24 and that is a true over the shoulder video of search analysis so i created a search analysis course and it's fully in depth it's really all you're going to need to know to properly do search analysis um, and so most of you really don't need to watch this video. Um, this is going to be a little bit like watching paint dry because you're going to watch me actually doing the search analysis for a website and exactly what the process looks like. So this is going to be a little slow and tedious, um, but if you want to see a direct example of exactly how I go through this process, here you go. Get geared up. I'm going to have to take off my jacket here. <clears throat> because this one is going to be a long one. So we're going to make a website on, oh, this is, we're going to make a website on um, smoking meat just because it's something that I've been into lately. I got a Traeger. Um, and so um, I'm going to show you exactly what I would do. So we're going to start with Income Schools Search Analysis Tool. I'm going to go to File, make a copy, and I'm going to say Fake Site on Smoking Meat. All right, maybe this won't be a fake site. Maybe I will actually make this one, we'll see. Okay, so we're gonna start with the brand plan and I'm just thinking of what are the major categories of things that people could uh, want to know. So, um, you know, selecting a pellet smoker, uh, fixing and troubleshooting a smoker, um, a lot of things on like meat selection and safety. Now, what temperature do things have to be cooked to? Um, you know, we can do some recipes. I'm not sure that I'd want to do a lot just because I know they'll be very competitive. Google's very commoditized that. Um, cooking a brisket and cooking a turkey. I'm gonna list separately because they're just kind of like big moments for somebody getting into smoking. Um, accessories. Competitions. I'm sure we can think of more, but this is gonna give us plenty of uh, stuff to go off of. So how many posts do I think I could write about selecting a pellet smoker? I mean, Maybe there are 10 major brands, so an individual review of those, maybe three different models of each, 30, and then we're going to do several different roundup, you know, best pellet smoker under $500, best huge pellet smoker, whatever. Um, so I, I think you could do 45 posts, and this is just the max that we could do. Um, fixing and troubleshooting a smoker, oh, I don't know, maybe 25. Meat selection and safety, I mean, a bunch of different types of meats and... I don't know, it sounds kind of boring to write about though. Maybe we'll call that 12. Uh, recipes, I mean, oh my goodness, you could have thousands of recipes, but I'm not sure that I want to go crazy into this. I'll just kind of test the water with maybe 10 uh, really good recipes that I can really push and see what we do. Uh, cooking a brisket, this is a big one for people, and so I'd, I'd say maybe we get to 12 articles. Same thing with it, whoop, not 123. Maybe we get 12 articles there. Accessories, oh, maybe 10 different articles and competitions, maybe 10. I'm just shooting, shooting a, just some ideas out there of kind of how many posts I think we could do. I just want to kind of get a general overview of kind of where the site's going to go and what kind of stuff. And then, you know, this is a good time to think like, have I gone broad or, or too narrow um, in my niche selection? Do I need to do barbecue stuff in addition to just uh, pellet smokers? Uh, do we need to go to, you know, roasting a pig in the ground kind of thing? Um, is it just cooking meat or is it very specifically those electronic pellet smokers? Or are we talking about coal? And I don't know. It's just something that you think of. But for this site, I'm going to say, no, I want this to be a very passive, very on target, kind of small site. Never going to be, you know, the massive meat, meat website. This is just only about smoking meat. All right. So that's what I'm going to do. Next, I'm going to ideation and selection. So now I'm taking the brand plan and I'm gonna try to make 
find all these posts for the different things. It's okay if I don't get to the total numbers. This is really just giving me some things, but I'm gonna start here with selecting a pellet smoker. Okay, so I'm gonna just go into Google Auto Search and I'm gonna search uh, best pellet, best pellet grill for the money, best pellets for smoking turkey, best pellets, okay. So best pellet grill for the money, then I'm also gonna try best smoker for the money, okay. So now I need to decide is it smoker or is it pellet grill? And so I'm gonna to go to Google Trends. And I'm gonna do a comparison. I'm gonna do uh, smoker. Ah, see smoker, that's hard because uh, you know people smoke too and this is not that. Um, pellet smoker. And then we're gonna compare that to pellet grill. Okay, so pellet grill is definitely a higher thing. I'm gonna to have to check to make sure this is the same thing. Um, okay, pellet smoker, pellet grill, okay. Good to know. Okay, so for that article, you know, I'm gonna say best pellet grill for the money. Okay, um, then we're looking for more about just a uh, is Traeger a good brand of smoker? So you'll notice that one. I didn't do any searching uh, for it. That's one that I just know people will search because I did myself. But you wanna be really careful uh, with doing that, that, you, that there is an autofill. Um, is a Traeger, you know, is a Traeger worth it? Is a Traeger grill worth it, etc.? Is it worth the money? So there is an autofill for it, and I just know that people will search it uh, because it's something that I personally searched when I did it because it's kind of a name brand. Um, so, okay, but you do want to be careful. Just You don't want to write a post where you're just getting something off your chest. It's got to be an answer to a specific search query. Okay. Um, our smokers. Nah, so this is about smoke cigarette smokers. Are is smoking meat? Oh, okay. So there are a bunch of health things here. Huh. Okay. So I don't know. Did I fit to have that in the brand plan? Not really. Health. There are several here. Maybe we'll call that five articles here. So we just happened upon these. So I'll take them. Is smoking meat bad for you? And what, what else did they have? Is smoking meat cancerous? Um, see, so the question is, do I write an article on is smoking meat cancerous and is it bad for you and is it healthy or do I combine them into one? That's a little tough to know sometimes, but I'm gonna lean toward putting it into one article here because I kind of doubt there's a lot of, um, you know, is smoking meat cancerous? Whoa, yeah, see, I don't want to write this. So I'm seeing slate.com, WebMD, Washington Post, yikes, time.com, not writing it, won't do it. Uh, is smoking meat healthy? Hmm. Okay, so I'll put, still put it on here because right now we're just doing ideation, but um, <laughs> when we get to the hit list, it's, I know it's not going to make the cut. Okay. Um, okay. And then I'm going to start looking at like a brands of pellet grills. And I'm just going to start looking at the ones that I recognize. Okay, Camp Chef, Green Mountain, Traeger. Ok, 
Okay. And I, I, I don't know that I don't see here, but I'll add pit boss. Okay, so these, all of these companies are going to have multiple different models. And so I know they're very popular items. I mean, you'll see these in Walmart, Sportsman's Warehouse, they're all over the, all over the place. When it's that big of a product, it's probably gonna be worth writing a product review. You just gotta be careful with product reviews. They usually don't send as much traffic um, and they're more competitive. So you gotta be careful that it's a big enough product. Um, but these are some major brands. And so now the question for me is, um, is which Traeger am I gonna write? You know, maybe I can write the one article of just like, you know, our Traeger, what was it? Is Traeger a good brand of smoker? Uh, and I could do that with each one of these. Um, in fact, I think I probably will. Um, and maybe we'll do that for each of these major brands. Okay, so yeah, we have a bunch, a bunch there of uh, kind of reviews. Now we're gonna check for like uh, things like cost ones. So best pellet grill. Okay, under 500 for searing. Uh, we have the 2020 ones, but this is a new website. My site's unlikely to rank for you know best pellet grill. Um, during 2020 since this is a new website and it's 2020 right now uh, that I'm recording this. And so uh, probably not a good one for me to write until I have a more established site, then I can do more of that year-based stuff. Uh, but I will do best pellet grill under 500. And what I will also do is start typing under and see the major price points. Under 500, 1,000, 400, 1,500. So I'll probably do just those top four. Okay, so we have a bunch of those. Um, and now we also had best pellet grill for searing. Okay. You know, I'm also gonna add to the brand plan now some like how-to stuff because like, uh, you know, how hot should a pellet grill be for um, searing meat you know what do you, what temperature do you set it to why do you sear meat um, okay interesting okay now we're gonna go to fixing and troubleshooting a smoker okay so one that I had a problem with um, with my grill is I bought it and the fan would not turn on, would not turn on, would not turn on. Turns out they zip tie the dang fan in shipping and it doesn't say that in the directions. Um, so Traeger grill fan not working. Um, and so again, I've got to be careful when I'm just throwing one out there that I haven't checked an autofill for. Um, I, I kind of, I just have a hunch on that one that people are searching that. And I know that there was like, um, you know, well, I'll show you. Okay, so this is like a general problems with your Traeger. FAQ, general problems, general problems. None of this is about a fan. 
And so I feel like I could rank number one so easily that even if this brought in 100 people a month, and my goal for each article is 1,000 page views per article that I write. Sometimes we overshoot it and we do better than that. A lot of times we don't quite get there, but that's our goal with each article is 1,000 page views a month. Will I get 1,000 people a month coming for that? I doubt it. Um, just I, my hunch says I, I don't think so. I don't think it's quite that many. But you know, maybe this is one of the very first articles I write. I can guarantee a number one ranking. And it takes me, you know, maybe it takes me half an hour to write that real quick. Just a simple article. And so why not is kind of how I feel about it. Okay. Um, Trigger grill isn't working, won't, ah, start, heat, stay lit, get hot. Okay, trigger and start, heat and ignite, really the same thing, right? Okay. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with another one. Uh, what's uh, camp chef grill won't light he um yeah so maybe I'll just do the same thing for another brand. I think these are kind of the two biggest brands. Again, I can go to trends.google.com to kind of test that, and I'll say Traeger. And I'm gonna compare that to Okay. Oh interesting. Okay, so this is saying Pit Boss is winning here. I wonder if I take off pellet grill. Interesting. Yeah, pit bosses win. Oh, I said grill here. Okay, so they're pretty close, but pit boss is actually beating. So this is really interesting. So blue here is Traeger. I live in Idaho, and you can see in Idaho, the Traeger is more popular. But overall, around the United States, you see that, that the pit boss is more popular. That's really important to know is your regional bias as you're searching a lot of different things. Um, you got to kind of pay attention to it. So I was thinking, oh, I'd write more brand specific stuff for Traeger, but not the other stuff. And here I'm learning, whoops, actually the other stuff is pretty important. Okay, so any brand specific stuff, I want to do that brand as well. And I should check Pip or Camp Chef as well. Okay, cool. Good to know. Okay, so now we've gone through some problems and troubleshooting. Again, we could probably do a lot more, but we've got some in here. Okay, meat selection and safety. Okay, here's one that just again, I know that I was searching is um, difference in cost between USDA choice, no, select choice and prime brisket. <laughs> Funny story, I went to the butcher um, because I read a blog post that said you should use USDA Prime. It'll be much better brisket, right? And so I go to the butcher, butcher and I was like, I want the good stuff. I want the USDA Prime brisket. And he's like, are you sure? And I was like, yeah, I want two. I go to ring it up. <laughs> he says, that'll be $250. Wow, I had no idea. Anyway, uh, so I think people will search that about the difference in price. Um, and the other thing that I searched is where to buy USDA Choice and Prime brisket. 
I wasn't sure where to get it. It wasn't at Walmart. And I was like, but are there even butcher shops anymore? Anyway, so uh, those are interesting ones. Um, again, I'm gonna wanna check. Um, I'm gonna wanna check, uh, so somebody's writing that on a forum, etc. But we're gonna wanna check to make sure there's some kind of autofill there, how we're gonna do it. But it's something that I searched and I just feel like there are likely other people searching that. And so sometimes I go off a couple little hunches. But it is dangerous to do that. You do wanna make sure there are autofills. Okay. Um, okay, meat selection and safety. You know, uh, what temperature you smoke, you know, steak. What temper, smoke, brisket. Okay, we got some examples in there. Um, next, recipes. Um, So recipes, man, I'm gonna to wanna to be really careful with these because I said before that Google's commoditized it. Let me show you what I mean by that. Um, whatever, uh, mashed potatoes recipe. There are so many mashed potatoes recipes. It is absolutely absurd how many there are right here and all recipes can get 330 reviews of their one mashed potato uh, recipe. There are so many here. It's just, it's just a commodity, these recipes, and it's really hard to rank against some of the big websites. And so, but there is one that I was looking for, uh, or uh, I looked for Traeger uh, veggies recipe. And I was a little surprised that I didn't find more. No reviews, no reviews, no reviews. There are a few on TraegerGrills.com. But I, I don't know, I just kind of felt like maybe there was a spot there that somebody could do something cool. I didn't find a recipe that I loved. Um, so, you know, recipes I, I want to be real careful of. You know, like smoked brisket recipe. I just, I know right now it's going to be so competitive. I'm not so sure about this one. Um, but we'll, we'll toss a couple in there and then we'll do some analysis and see what we think. Um, maybe we do something like, um, smoker recipes for Christmas. Mm, I don't love the, I don't love, uh, seasonal ones uh, just cause you only get traffic a tiny part of the year. Um, appetizers. I'm trying to find something a little bit more niche than brisket. Deer tenderloin. Okay, we have venison. Venison tenderloin. I mean, yeah. Well, I don't know. There's still several, still several here. Uh, but okay, it's maybe one of the more possible ones. Okay, but that gives me an idea with wild game. You know, maybe we say um, smoked wild hog recipe, smoked wild boar sausage recipe, how about that? Smoked wild boar sausage. My goodness, there are just a lot of results for everything recipe. I just don't know if this is a game I really wanna get into. Um, we're gonna, we'll, we'll call it there. Uh, recipes, I just don't know if that's a game I wanna play. All right, cooking a brisket. So this is a big one for people who are getting into um, into smoking. And so 
what's this? So, okay. So what kind of things are they gonna say? Okay, smoked brisket temperature, smoked brisket rub. How to smoke a brisket. Ooh, how to smoke a brisket without a smoker. That sounds interesting. Okay, smoke, how to smoke a brisket on a Traeger. See, that's a basic general recipe they're looking for. Um, okay. Smoking brisket point, I'm not quite sure. What, oh, point and flat, okay. So there are different parts of the meat. Uh, temperature, mm, temperature, see if I just do this, I know Google's gonna have a quick autofill for me and I don't, I don't know, maybe, let's try it. All right, maybe, actually, maybe we got something there. How, this is just how to smoke a brisket, it just says, uh, they say 195, I usually is 225. Um, yeah, and then these are just recipes. Actually, maybe we found something there. The best temperature to smoke a brisket. Okay, I think we've got something there. I think that's interesting. I think we could rank number one for that. You could see somebody who goes out to their grill and it's like, what do I do for it? And they just Google, right? And maybe we hook them with just, hey, here's a table of the best temperatures to use. Um, but maybe we could keep them, uh, keep them on there if we had some other information on there. I, I think we found something kind of cool right there. Best temperature for smoking a brisket. I'm kind of surprised for that. How about we do a couple more of that? Best temperature for smoking. Ribs, turkey, fish, chicken, oh my goodness. Okay, ribs. <laughs> I kind of feel like we got something here. Ribs, turkey. Chicken. Fish. Salmon, I uh, see salmon I'm gonna put with fish. Baby back ribs I'm putting with ribs. Jerky and sausage. Okay, eh, I think we might've stumbled on something kind of cool right there. I do want to be careful that like when I see something like that, that I'm like, eh, it's kind of cool. I think I might've found a good keyword here. Um, you do still want to be careful that, you know, if we're only writing whatever 30 articles to kind of launch our site, I don't want to dedicate eight of those articles to essentially the same search phrase, just with a different application, right? Um, so I, I'm probably going to write three of these. Maybe if I'm feeling really good about it, maybe I'll write three of these. Okay. Okay. Where are we? Okay. We were back to co cooking a brisket. And then we found those and kind of got on a rabbit hole. <coughs> okay. Um, smoking, brisket, brisket. Okay. Hmm. How to smoke a brisket. I'm just trying to think of like starts of questions. How to smoke a brisket in the oven. Okay, they're just going to find a recipe. Um... How big of a brisket, how big of a brisket to smoke? That's interesting. Yeah, and they're just getting general recipes. How big of a brisket to smoke? Okay. Um, how to make a brisket Ooh, how to make a brisket tender. Okay. How to make a brisket K. 
Okay. Okay, we got some good things there. Good. Let's go to the next thing on the brand plan. Ha, coconut turkey. All right. So how to make a, how to smoke a turkey and ooh, how to smoke a turkey and not keep, and keep it moist or not dry it out. How to smoke a turkey and keep it moist. Moist. <laughs> I actually hate that word. Doesn't it just kind of grain on you? This is moist. Moist. Ah, I don't know. I just don't like that word. Moist. Okay. Um, sorry about that. See, this is this is the side of me you get when we have an over-the-shoulder video, all right? Okay. How to smoke a turkey and get crispy skin? Interesting. Oh, okay, and we also, did we have somewhere? Yeah, okay, I think we'll get lots of questions on like what kind of wood to use. Um, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my goodness, this whole thing. Okay, what kind of wood to smoke brisket, ribs, turkey, salmon? Oh my goodness, okay. Brisket, turkey, salmon, slamming, cheese, chicken, I'm going to say deer, venison here. Okay. I haven't done any competition there, but I'm also, hmm, those are hmm, interesting. These could be kind of cool. I think I might make this site. This looks like a good site. I think I could make this pretty easy. Okay. Next brand plan, accessories. Okay, so I know one, and man. Okay, so I searched for like the best wireless thermometer for a grill. Ugh, it drove me nuts. All of, it was just crap reviews. People are like, these are the 10 best. I've never tried them, but they are. Um, and so I would like to do kind of an ultimate review of the best wireless thermometer for smoking meat. Really want to do that one. I would buy all of them, go crazy, write a review of each individual one, and then have it all point to the best one. I do some video. I feel like that's a place where I could really plant a flag in this uh, in this industry here. Okay. Um, Traeger accessories. Ooh, blanket. Okay. I'm going to search that. Tra smoker blanket. Smoker thermal blanket. I'm not, I'm not totally sure what this does. Ooh, welding blanket for smoker. Hmm, okay. Um, so I, I know there's something here. I'm just not quite sure what the search is that I should be doing. Smoker blanket. Our smoker blanket. Our smoker blanket safe. That's interesting. Smoker blankets safe. Oh, speaking of safety, it just popped in my head. Like, um, can you use a smoker? Okay, in the rain, indoors. That's the one I was wondering. In the rain, indoors, in the winter. Great. I'm writing all of those. Can you use a smoker in the rain? 
Can you use a smoker indoors? Can you use a smoker in the winter? Interesting. Ah, see, ah. Sometimes search analysis feels like such a bore going through it, and then you start finding these winter search analysis terms, and you're just like, money in my pocket. You know it's gonna work. Ah, this is great. Okay, I think we're getting some winners here. Um, oh. Oh my goodness, I'm making this site. Uh, you can't stop me now, I'm gonna do it. Okay, um, calm down here and make a, make, a, make a dumb website, Jim. Okay, Are, <laughs> I'm getting weird. Okay, um, can you use a smoker in the winter? Great, accessories, great. We had blankets. Um, how else, I'm gonna search smoker accessories. And then I'm gonna click into an article just because I'm not quite sure what to do with an autofill to start finding what they even are. Okay, wireless thermometer, got it. Barbecue gloves, yeah, but they're gonna read an Amazon review and that's gonna be good enough. But, you know, I should do just a 15, nah, whatever, 11 accessories to buy with your new smoker. Yep, that's a winner. Winner, winner, winner. Okay. Trying to see if there are any like big ones, kind of expensive ones that I want to write an article on. Basting brush mop. <laughs> uh, butcher's block, come on. They're kind of making stuff up here. Ooh, bear claws, these things are sweet. You feel like Wolverine and you're just cooking. Okay, didn't see anything crazy great. So, okay, we'll kind of curb our accessories. Competitions. What are the rules of a barbecue competition? That one's just popping into my head because I just, I saw something in a blog post about like, you know, somebody cheating in a barbecue competition and my first thought was like, I'd like to know how to cheat because I'm not competing. I just want to make the best brisket. Uh, so I think something about rules could be kind of cool. Um, competition smoker trailer. It's interesting. We'll do something about that. Okay. Eh, we'll go short there. Health, we added a couple already. And then some how-to, we got a couple, but I think we could do more. Um, nah, we're okay. We got a bunch. We got 58 here. I think we can turn this into a good hit list. All right, so now we have a lot of search queries here, and now we're going to jump over to competition for each one of these. So I'm just going to copy and paste. In fact, maybe I'll kind of double-side this thing so that we can move quickly. And I'm literally just gonna Google each one. Okay, so this is an ad. Okay, so best pellet smokers. On point from a website all about smokers. Same, same, I know this is a big website. The Spruce Eats is a huge website. So I really didn't even, I mean, good housekeeping. I didn't even need to search this to know, but we did. The competition for this is high. It's not extreme. Extreme is a place where I feel like you just never ever write it. You know, something like, uh, what causes cancer? <laughs> You're gonna get crushed. It's, it's going to WebMD. It's going to, you know, major can cancer institutes and stuff. I, my blog is never gonna rank for what causes cancer. Um, that would be extreme. High is something that's just like, I probably shouldn't write it right now, but I should eventually, and I think I could rank for it eventually once I have a little domain authority. Okay, is Traeger a good brand of smoker? Okay, so the real question is how on point this one is. 
because should you buy a Traeger pellet smoker, that's actually a pretty good result. It's mostly gonna give you that answer. It's not exactly what I searched, but it's pretty darn close, right? Traeger reviews, eh, it's kinda gonna give you pretty much the same thing. Traeger's wood pellet grill is so good it hurts. Does it hurt though, CNET? Um, and so I'm gonna call this one pretty high, even though they're all a little bit different than what I'm exactly doing. Um, but I would, I would call it still high. They're, they're pretty good results. What I might do though is add another one. Not just is it a good brand of smoker, is Traeger worth the cost? This is a little bit different of a search. It's just not is it good, but is it worth the you know, brand name? Should you buy a Traeger pellet smoker? I mean, that mostly answers it. Okay, but see here, they went to a Reddit real quick. And so Google recognizes that this is something a little bit more than just a, a review. Um, 20 reasons why you haven't bought a Traeger grill. Has nothing to do with it, really. Traeger's is so good, okay. See, I kind of feel like there's this is possible here. There are other reviews similar from larger sites, but I, I feel like that's something that's possible with a really well-written post. Okay, is smoking meat bad for you? I have a feeling that this is not something I should write. Dangers of smoking meat from a newspaper. Live strong, slate, science daily, shape. Don't, do not do this. Jim, don't. Is it too extreme? Almost, I'm gonna say extreme because I'm just not gonna write it because it's YMYL and so it's that much harder. I just, I'm not gonna write it. Okay, is smoking meat cancerous? Come on, it's extreme, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, what is the best pellet grill? Oh, we had for the money, eh, same deal. I'm gonna kinda just delete that. Okay, Camp Chef review. So when I search just Camp Chef review, I'm sure it's crazy here. We're probably gonna wanna write a specific one. So the question is, when you're trying to find out like which model to review, you wanna know what the big one is, right? So I'll give you two tips for doing that. Go to Amazon and let's see which one has the most reviews. Okay, Smoke Pro DLX. Nope, look at it. Oh yeah, Smoke Pro DLX. Okay, that's kind of their big one it looks like. Okay, but there's one more step that I usually take before I decide which model to write the review of. Um, I'll go to the Camp Chef Smokers website and I wanna see what they're pushing because maybe that's the older model and now they just came out with a newer model and it's an opportunity for me to jump in. So I'm gonna go to their website and like see is there some big thing that they're kind of pushing can we sort by popularity no not an option okay yeah they're not giving us much here okay so we're gonna go with that we're gonna go with the smoke pro dlx okay so here's a versus review on youtube Okay, this doesn't, so how on point are these reviews? Is this one of those silent films where they never talk in the video? Okay, looks like maybe an okay made video. Um, okay, the Spruce Eats, dun dun dun, that's a huge website. I don't know if I wanna go up against that. These are websites all about smoking. Dude, everybody's got a review of this thing. Oh my goodness. I don't think I wanna write this. I think if I wanna do it, I wanna do a video. Um, you know, let's go check YouTube.
Yeah, now we're getting into just random stuff here. I see, I just, ah, I feel like I could do it. Um, so I'm saying for an article, it's high, but I think I would make a YouTube video of that. In fact, sorry to go on my rant again, but like that's the thing right now is if you can get good at creating video, you, the, you can just rank for 10 times the number of keywords. Uh, because a lot of these things in video form, the competition's like meh, um, and on blog, it's really high. And so I, I just feel like you've got to be getting into the video game. With almost every industry I look at, it's like, oh, you've got to get to the point that you can just produce good video content because it's it just opens up so much what you can go after. Okay, Green Mountain Grill review. I, I'm not going to go through the process. You saw the process that I just went through for one of these brands to see the exact one that I'm going to do. Uh, Traeger, same thing, Pit Boss. Okay. Okay, are Camp Chef grills worth the cost? Now we're to a little bit of a different search term. Okay, this is just their website. That's not that helpful. Thinking of buying a pellet grill. Okay, but now I'm talking about Camp Chef. Um, just a review of a specific one. Uh, you know, I think I could write this. I think I'm on that one. I think I'm putting that competition as medium and I think I'd probably write that. What I'm seeing here is, this is just general Camp Chef stuff. I kind of want to know like, is it, good, is it a good brand though? And I don't feel like these, this is just a buyer's guide for pellet grills, not even about Camp Chef. Ah, see, I feel like that's a winner. I feel like that's something I'm going to want to write. And I'm going to put that right now. Will I write, create the content? Yep, I'm doing that one. Uh, Traeger with the cost. I'm going to do the same thing there. There was another one. Okay. Is Traeger a good brand of smoker? No, I didn't want to do that one. Just is it worth the cost? Okay, good. We got a few. Our Green Mountain Grills K get the same thing, same set of keywords. Okay, best pellet grill under 500 bucks. See, I feel like all these under certain price points, they're all going to be hammered, but let's see how we do. Okay, best pellet grills of under $500 of 2020. Okay, he's exactly on point. Um, under 500, under 500. Spruce Eats, inexpensive. That's pretty close to the same term. I don't think I'm going to write this. That looks pretty darn competitive. I think, yeah, I think not yet. Not on a brand new website. Best pellet grill under $1,000. Okay. Under $1,000. Okay, now we're, this one's off. $1,000. It's just best grills. Yeah, I mean, this one, you better bring the heat. I, I mean, it's definitely going to be a pillar post, and I'm going to want it later. It better be really good, but I think it's possible. And so I'm going to say yes. We want some stretches in our pillar posts. Okay, best under $400. I mean, you can, you can only win it if you take a shot sometimes. I just don't want to waste time writing something that I stand little chance of. Okay, bingo, look, none of these are $400. They're all $500, and remember it was one of the autofills, best smokers under, yeah, there's 400, uh, 300 is showing up a little bit higher now, but 400 was is up there. I'm taking it, I think, yes, I'm doing that. I'm saying competition's still medium, because the $500 article's like, eh, they're still pretty close, but I'm, I'm, I'm writing it. Okay, best pellet grill under 1500 Few of them are exactly on point. But you got to like you got to keep in mind that like if Google has the choice between brand new website that wrote on the exact number 1500 and a big website that's like between 1000 and 2000, 
it's gonna pick the other one until my site's established. And so it's not a given, but I do think I could do something there. I'm gonna say yes, I'm writing that medium competition. Okay, best pellet grill for searing. Boy, it seems like kind of a weird one. Are people searching for a whole grill on how to sear? Or are they just searching like what grills can sear? No, a lot of people have written this. Okay, best pellet grills for searing. Two articles on it. And then they're just random. I want to try that one again. And I was signed into Google, so I'm going to go. I should be doing all of this signed out of Google, but I haven't done that much Googling on here on about grills, so I don't think it's going to mess anything up. But I'll go unsigned out. Yeah, I didn't bring up searing here. Ah, for searing, yeah, there it is. Okay, we're doing it. Best pellet grill for searing. Okay, competition was low on that one. And we'll write that. Okay, how hot should a pellet grill be for searing meat? So how to sear. So this is really hard. None of the articles are how hot should a pellet grill be for searing meat, but they are all about how to sear. And so I'm sure they're going to talk about it. And they're much bigger websites, you know, even TraegerGrills.com. So this one, ah, that's a, that's tough. It's tough to know what to do there. Will Google let me slip in because I'm the only one that wrote a whole article on how hot should it be? Or is it just going to say, eh, these articles are all on searing and it's going to tell you the temperature in there. Um, so it's a little bit of an unknown. Sometimes they go, sometimes they don't go. So I'm going to call this one medium competition and yeah, we'll try it. Why not? Okay. Why do you sear meat? Interesting. This one isn't totally specific to smoking though. How to sear. Does searing meat really seal in the juices? Okay, that is going to be an answer to that. I think not. I think I don't do this one. I think the competition is medium, but I don't think I'm going to do it. And the reason is it's not specific to smoking. And I think, you know, an article like this, like, you know, does searing meat really seal in the juices? It's, it has the information and people are going to find it. Um, so I, I, I don't know that I'd be able to slip in there. Okay, Traeger grill fan not working. We already actually searched this and the competition was basically zero. It was all just general FAQs. And so I'm writing that one. Traeger grill won't ignite and produce heat. Okay, general problems, FAQ, troubleshooting, yeah, I feel like I want to do that. Competition is low because there are at least FAQs that I'm sure address it. Okay, same thing. Pit Boss, I don't know. I mean, it's, it, I probably should check each brand here, but I could just kind of have a feeling we're going to see the same thing. Okay, difference in cost between these briskets. Forum is the number one result. Yeah, I think I want to do that. I think I think there's something there. I don't know about the search. I just think I can do it. <laughs> I'm not sure on the search volume, but sometimes you got to hunt, right? Um, where to buy USDA choice and prime brisket? See, I'm nervous that when I Google this, Google's just going to show me places online where I can do that. Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, and it's shown me places locally even where they have it. Nah, I'm not writing this. Nope. Competition is extreme just because Google's wanting to giving me, give me the answer itself. It's like my turn. Not going to write that. What temperature should you smoke a steak? Okay, well, that was pretty good. It's kind of the wrong answer, I think, but okay. 
smoke steak. Hmm. So I don't think I'm going to write this one um, because it gives us an answer here. And really to find that info, I think most people are just going to look at a recipe because a recipe is always going to tell you the temperature. It's a question mark, but I don't think so. Brisket, I feel like there could be a little bit more because it really depends on the size of the brisket and stuff. So a recipe will sometimes say like for a 10 pound brisket, do this. And it's like, but mine's 14 pounds. Um, and so I just, I think it might work a little bit better here. And so I'm going to put competition is still kind of high because a recipe mostly does it, but I, I feel like I want to try that one. Um, and then chicken, I'm going to go through that same process. Okay. Smoked brisket recipe competition is higher extreme. I don't think I want to do that. Um, okay. Smoked deer tenderloin recipe. We looked at this one. I can't remember kind of where the competition was. Smoked venison tenderloin. Yeah, that's exactly on point. Ah, this is even on Traeger Grill's website. Uh, smoked venison back straps. We want tenderloins. Maybe I'm calling this a maybe. I'm calling the competition medium. And oh, why not? Maybe I'll throw a couple recipes in there just to see how we do. Okay, how to smoke a brisket without a smoker. Hmm, we'll see about that. Smokerless smoked brisket, oven smoked, mm. gas grill. Nah, competition's high there. I'm not gonna write that. Okay, best temperature for smoking a brisket. Didn't we already get that one? Yeah, we did. Okay, best temperature for smoking ribs. See, I think ribs may be like the brisket, and I think this could be a good set of keywords here. I'm going to take just a couple. I'm going to take, say all these are kind of high, just because it may just send me to a recipe and that may, may be good enough. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try a couple of these. I'll write three or four of them in my first batch of content and just see how they perform. If they perform well, I'll write everything uh, for all the other things. How big of a brisket to smoke? So we already checked this one. Competition was medium to low and I do want to write that. Uh, okay, these, what kind of woods? Ooh, these were doing good. We were liking these, right? Uh, what kind of wood to smoke a brisket? Okay, best woods, best woods. How do you choose the woods? Huh. Okay, these are kind of higher. There are some forums in here, but that's a lot of articles on point from different barbecue websites. Hmm. If I can think of a way that I'm going to write this in a really interesting way, you know, if I'm going to smoke seven briskets and do a blind test and have 15 people test, uh, tell me what wood they like the best and I have something really unique to share and I can write it just a killer post, I kind of feel like I want to jump in and give it a try. If I'm just writing me too content, these are some five woods you can use and a little profile of each one. Nah, I'm probably not going to win there. So maybe is what I'm saying on that. Okay, let's go to turkey. Turkey, turkey. How to smoke a, okay, best wood, best wood, best wood. But that's a forum. Hmm. Kind of saying the same thing for turkey. Maybe we're going to have to get into some of these more, not exotic, but little bit less common things to smoke in order to find some good results here. Alder. It's so just like only use alder. Okay. Um, okay. We're to a forum. 
this isn't exactly on point. Just smoking meat. Okay, now we're saying competition is low, and I'm right in that sucker. Take that. Cheese. Forum. Yeah, okay, I'm writing that. Yep. Oops. We'll see about chicken now. What kind of wood to smoke chicken? <laughs> just like hickory. Just only use hickory. Interesting. Tips for K. That's just tips. That was not exactly on point. What type of wood is best? Okay, that's exactly on point. Okay, now we're to a forum. Smoky. Now, okay, this is low competition. I'm writing this. Okay, and then we'll check venison as well. Best wireless thermometer. So I know the competition is high and I still want to play the game because I just, I want to do something awesome and make a really good one there. Um, I also, I'm going to make coordinating videos on these. Just make it really in depth. Use a wagon wheel approach on a YouTube channel. I feel like these, that's the only way to win this one. Uh, I think it's a big term. I think competition is high. Not guaranteed I'm going to win, but I want to play that game. I think I'm, I think I have a chance there. Okay, are smoker blankets safe? I think we searched this one. Competition was low. Yeah, we're going to give it a try. Can you use a smoker in the rain? Smoking in the rain, forum, 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 forum. Uh, yep, bring it on. Let's write this. Now, a forum, anytime I see a forum, I say, I, I, I got this. But sometimes a forum isn't a bad result. You know, if somebody's just seeking opinions on something, sometimes it's helpful to hear from 30 different people, including Smiley Girl 72 in Florida, right? Um, but uh, sometimes it can be good. Kay can use a smoker indoors. Okay, this is exactly on point. Yeah, I think I can do that. Competition's a little bit medium. There were a couple things there, but I'm saying, yeah, I can do that. Uh, now we're gonna search winter, kind of same process. 11 accessories to buy with your new smoker. So I know the competition is gonna be high for accessories because it's a buyer intent keyword. People are gonna write it. I'm still gonna make mine because I want to interlink to it from a bunch of articles and it can be a good affiliate post for me. And sometimes if I interlink a whole bunch, sometimes I do rise to the top and I can still rank for it. Um, but even if I didn't rank on SEO, I think I would still want to write that post. Okay, what are the rules of a barbecue competition? So here are just a bunch of different rules for specific competitions. So I wonder what I could do differently. Um, see, I think there's a good chance that I could rank for something like this because these are all specific competitions and I could write something that's like, a, you know, 15 most common rules for barbecue competitions or something like that, a little bit more general that may be a little bit of a better result. I, I think I, it might be worth trying to see what we do there. I don't know if Google's just gonna send them to some actual rules or not. Competition, smoker, trailer. See, I think this is buyer intent. Google's just gonna send them to actual barbecue trailers to buy. But let's go down to the people also ask and see. With living quarters, wow, you just smell like barbecue all day long. Okay, good, I, I think we got, we're gonna skip that one for now. Okay, we've done our competition analysis, and now I want to take all of these. I'm just going to sort by. I want to take all these yeses and let's put these suckers in a hit list. That's the primary search query. The category we're going to put on our website just so that we're getting things in different categories. But really, since we took different chunks, 
from the brand plan and categories. I don't know if we have to fill it out here. We know we're kind of spread across different categories and trying different uh, types of things. So now I've got to write a title for each one of these articles. Um, so for writing titles, it's important that you're very, very clickable. In general, I don't want to just copy the search term because if I just copy a search term, I'm more likely to hit just that search term and in not hit adjacent search, search phrases. So for example, um, you know, if I write uh, the best temperature to heat a turkey up to when you're smoking meat, right? Um, okay, that kind of fits one thing, but maybe I write something called, uh, um, I don't know, d d heating temperature guide for smoking turkeys, kind of making it a guide. Um, you know, maybe now I might also rank for the time you cook a turkey or something like that. And so I generally, I don't want to just repeat the search phrase as the title of the article. So Traeger grills <coughs> worth the cost. Um, I don't know, maybe something like this. Buying a Traeger grill, is it worth paying the name for the name brand? Uh, I think it's interesting. Um, you know, maybe we pop onto some kind of form of, uh, you know, is it worth the cost? Uh, you know, maybe how expensive they are. If I had a great uh, uh, table in there of the cost of them, I want to write something that could hit a couple different search terms, but definitely directly answers the one that I'm primarily going after. Our camp chef grills worth the cost. Okay, this is essentially the same term, but I'm gonna do a different title here just because I don't wanna put my eggs all in one basket of one title formula. I wanna try some different things, right? And see what's gonna work. Um, so maybe we do something like a camp chef pellet grills. All right, something like that. Best pellet grill under a thousand K. Um. Okay. And best pellet grills under $1,000 and in-depth hands-on review. Okay, under $400, uh, maybe I say, um, um, top quality grills for reasonable. Ah, uh, no, I wanna say something like, uh, Get a cheap grill. Hmm. No, ah, okay. Our favorite budget options. Best pellet grills under $400, our favorite bu budget options. I like that name. Okay, we're gonna do, you know, a different formula for the 1500. Best pellet grill for searing. Um, Best pellet grills for searing, a comparison of the highest heat options. Because you gotta be really hot for that. Ah, it turned red here, so it's a little bit too long for Google search. Um, maybe we do something like that, including highest heat numbers. I don't know, something like that. We, we have how hot each one can get, something like that. Um, okay, how hot should a pellet grill be for searing meat? Um, the perfect temperature for searing meat on pellet grills. Eh, we'll just call it that. 
Traeger grill fan not working. Fix it in under five minutes. Trigger grill won't ignite and produce heat. Not trigger grill not heating up. Not heating up. A step by step guide to fixing it. Okay. Um, Okay, yeah, produce heat. We're gonna have all different ones here. Uh, difference in cost between USDA Select Choice and Prime Brisket, okay. Ah, too long. Okay, instead of including, we're gonna say with. with a price table. Okay, something like that. Cost of brisket. So you can see what I'm doing here. I really wanted to hit difference in cost between USDA select choice and prime brisket. But it would be sweet if I could also just rank for cost of brisket. Um, so I'm writing a title that uh, will definitely hit what I need and it was low competition and so I feel like I'm gonna do fine there. But if I could also just hit cost of brisket, that'd be pretty cool. Um, so I'm writing something that really hits my primary word but if it hits something tangential, that's sweet. Okay, what temperature should you smoke a brisket? I, I, I think you guys get the, get the idea for how I'm doing these titles. Um, so let's jump over now to post type. So is Traeger worth the cost? So I'm gonna go back here. Is Traeger worth the cost? Okay, it was medium competition and I think it's gonna be a big keyword and so I'm gonna wanna write at least a staple post on that. Are Camp Chef grills worth the cost? I'm gonna say the same thing. Best pellet grill under a thousand? Let's bring in the heat with a pillar. Uh, under 400, maybe we do a staple here because there were very few, actually none, that were 400 specifically. So I think maybe I could do something there uh, without maybe writing a pillar. Uh, best pellet grill for searing. There was only one other exactly on point, but it does need to be a big one because a lot of them will just be best pellet grill. How hot should a pellet grill be for searing meat? Very specific, uh, and we didn't have a great thing, so I'm going to write a response post there. Trigger grill fan not working. I know there was just nothing for. That's going to be a response post. Um, you get the idea. I'm going through and just seeing what I think it's going to take to be able to write it. Now I'm going to start writing my content once I have about 10 staple, pillar, and response posts um, and I can get going on them. So that is the official over the shoulder video for exactly how I'm doing the search analysis process. And now I think I'm gonna actually make this website because why not? It actually looks pretty cool.